appreciate it. Okay, we are going to hold an intention that will benefit everyone. So if you're watching the recording, if you're participating live, you will get equal benefit and you can watch it multiple times. Every time the amount of results that you get is going to expand exponentially. So what we do is we breathe together three times. We're gonna hold the intention for a full 10 minutes. So I'll read the intention at the beginning. And at that point, you see that as being the new reality. This is complete, this is real, this is the new reality. So let your imagination run wild. Whatever fun, crazy imagery comes to mind that makes it seem real for you, that is the perfect imagery. Three minutes later, I read the intention again for the second time. You pull that imagery down into your heart and feel deep, intense love and gratitude and excitement and delight that this is the new reality. And you just hold that space and let other images come to mind in your heart. Then I read it again for the last time, three and a half minutes later, that's when you softly, gently release it out into the universe. This is to heal you as well as everyone you know, everyone you're related to, everyone you ever will know in the future, everyone you've known in the past that you're no longer connected to. You do have that level of power. Okay, so without further ado, let's breathe together three times. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. In love and light, we hold the intention that we let go of all judgment about our health and welcome immediate, complete, and permanent divine healing. In love and light, we hold the intention that we let go of all judgment about our health and welcome immediate, complete, and permanent divine healing.
In love and light, we hold the intention that we let go of all judgment about our health and welcome immediate, complete, and permanent divine healing. We give thanks, and so it is. Wow, that was really, really interesting. <laughs> that felt very high energy to me. I don't know about you guys. Okay, Emily, since you're unmuted, would you like to go first and share what oh. your experience was like? Okay. For some reason, um, colors that I usually see are a, a certain kind of green and a purple, but this time I saw it was a dark green. It was it felt very um, healing and very soft and, and comfortable. And I know several people now we're all in the same book group who have had issues and there was one woman who, and I know all of them are receptive to this. So um, one woman, you know, thought she had a stroke and now, and she has diabetes and everything. So she, you know, I saw her, there's another person who had cancer years ago. It has recurred. Um, and another who has lymphoma and I have some issues as well. And I saw all of us, it, it was sort of like a, I don't know, uh, with one lady, uh, I just can't understand, you know, I'm not sure what it was, the doctors don't know what it was, but it's all gone, 
you know, what, whatever, whatever the issue was. And, uh, and she's very happy, of course, to be moving on with her life. And though the woman who had a recurrence of, of cancer said uh, that the doctors had said to her, it, you know, it, it showed up all of a sudden and now it's gone. You know, we don't, we don't know how it happened, but that's the case. And the woman who uh, has lymphoma was supposed to continue treatment, but there was no need to continue the treatment. And for me, I saw myself um, with my three grandchildren, they're very young, um, having no back pain, knee pain, any kind of pain. And we're in, the, in a park and we're running around. And it's, it's just so freeing. And um, yeah, it feels good. That's good. beautiful. That's so beautiful, Melly. Thank you for sharing that with us. I really appreciate it. That was great. Dorothy, would you like to unmute and share what your experience was like? I saw myself in a gray doctor's office and uh, I was told what I shouldn't do, what I couldn't do. And I have to take these pills and those pills, shot and shot. Then I came home and I was in front of my mirror and, and suddenly I felt all these beings around me and say, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Do what you're feeling. Mm -hmm. You're not too old. You're not too sick. You can do it all. And then I saw myself. My daughter and I, my little daughter, I men, and I see myself on the field pushing and shoving. And from when I was 55, I took it this time. I didn't, didn't draw back. I, I ran hard. I collided. And every time. I got hurt. It felt good. It's a good hurt because <laughs> you can take it. And it I, I just slid. And by the time I got off the field, the game was over. And my daughter said to me, Dad, you can still play. And that's how I felt. That is great. I, 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 I felt like I'm still, I, like I still can do it. That's all. That's and I wonderful. Will do it. That's wonderful, Dorothy. So proud of you. So happy for you. And we're going to hold that intention with you that, yeah, it's all there. You got it. You absolutely have it. Angela, could you unmute and share what your experience was like? Interesting how often Melly sees brighter colors, but I often see dark and black. And the same today, um, first section was black, and I was basically just measurement about health and um the second part i saw each of us and and uh, those connected with us as just this light in the dark and that we had cords connecting all of us and um and connecting with divine source a beam of light and then in the third part we were using our palms to send that and it was like this lighthouse of everywhere in the world so oh beautiful that's really beautiful thank you angela mm. and so interesting that when we're willing to let that light shine it it goes right through us and cleans us as we allow that light to shine too that's really beautiful imagery thank you excellent robin could you unmute and share what your experience was like Okay, so at the very beginning, um, what are these people called that have scarves and they're all colorful and they, you know, twirling around? It's an actual, I don't know what it's called, but do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's so kind of like a gym some, I guess or something like that. Yeah. Uh, so it was me done that. It's not something I would ever, but it felt great. <laughs> it was, it was just so freeing. I was almost like flying. It was just something I would never do, 
I was happy. I felt wonderful because I've had a lot of like um, l- low energy for the past few years. I had tons of energy. And then um, the second part, I was bringing into my heart um, my great grandniece, Martha Blue. I got to hold her today for the first time in a month and hold her and give her her bottle. And she locked onto my eyes and I locked onto hers. And it was pure love. And to me, whenever whenever I'm hurting, and that's that's what I uh, put in my imagination is that whole thing because it's pure love. And I felt so freeing. Then I had all of us together and a bunch of people that I don't know, but all the people you know in the world that are that are suffering or whatever. We were at a um, like Cedar Park, Cedar um, what's it called, a, an amusement park. Um, and like children screaming and the, you know, we're on the Ferris wheel and, ah, and everybody just having a ball and running all over the place and just like crazy kids, like complete youth energy. And then, and then at the end, I realized that this research that I was telling you about, it was done on rats, by the way. <laughs> so, so I, all of a sudden I saw this rat and then it went into like a black hole in space. And then all of this negative, um, you know, physics, this is the way we are kind of people. It all went down a black hole in space. (laughs) It's kind of crazy. That's brilliant. That's really accurate. And I love that you're pointing out, you know, that scientific research that had you bummed out was done on rats, not on people. And people are a little different. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> that's great thank you so much robin i really You're love welcome. that thank imagery. you <laughs> david what about you what was your experience like you gotta unmute sorry there we go. i was tempted to make a joke that their recent research into black holes has shown that they've discovered they're full of rats um, <laughs> But, uh, that's, awesome. <laughs> that's a good. Yeah, yeah that's the good news. <laughs> so I, I, uh, I saw mist, um, an, an enveloping mist, that fog, um, and then, and then it lifted, uh, and then there was a night sky. So um, black, black as night, except it was filled with stars. Um, so one of those super starry nights when you're away from a big city and there's no light pollution, so to speak, and you can just see millions and millions of stars visible to the naked eye um, and shooting stars as well. And, uh, and uh, a voice was heard that's and it is healed mm. and um, and after that the voice said healing is here mm. wow that is so powerful david wow thank you so much for that I really appreciate it. It's interesting what everybody has said. It kind of tied in with my experience. Jessica, what about you? What was your experience like? So interesting because I feel like I had a lot of words to look the night, like a picture. And, but the words at first that came right after we started was, and so it is, and so it is. And so, so I realized that was in response to the affirmation that you have here and then um and then segued into um a message and i i became aware in the middle of it that i was using the word we instead of just speaking my own so if the word we sounds like i'm speaking to everyone it's not intended to it's just the way it came in and it said here's my message that that there were, I don't know if you guys heard, there was like a little noise in the background. It almost was like a little bit of a radio. And that sound in me, like it made me think 
of that the radio is on in each of us and that we each have this divine signal. We all have heard this before that is constantly on emitting a message to us all when we remember to listen. And this is where I was using the word we this and we that. So excuse the we's please. And then when we remember to listen um, and it's then said, I wrote, let go of fear and have more fun. And then at that point, I saw a brightly colored field and skipping. I don't know who was skipping. I don't know if it was me or everyone, but there was skipping in a bright flower field <laughs> and that we were all meant to have a lot more fun because, you know, I know for, you know, lots of people we get, we get weighed down by situations and health. And then came and it was this time and no, it is so. And it ended on, and no, it is so. And so I don't know where that came from, but that was that's my message. Great. <laughs> that's great, Jessica. Wow, that's really <laughs> powerful. Thank you for bringing that in. Yeah, Thank I had you. an amazing experience too. I immediately felt this just intense love and joy. And the vibrations of love and joy just kept flowing through my body in big waves up and down, up and down as soon as we started. And I got a very loud message that this is a radio signal that each of us is sending out. And as we connect, we amplify. And by coming together and all of us putting our focus and intention together, we're just amplifying the signal. And I saw us laughing for no reason, absolutely no reason for laughter, and dancing with the angels. And I heard that sound on the line also and I heard it as a party line, that the angels are on a party line and we can sort of hear them talking, but not quite because they really love this yeah. intention and they're totally there with us and they're helping us get mm. that help to us um, mm. that every time we feel discomfort, it is a sign of healing. And so we can reorient to say, oh, that's a sign that my bones are knitting together. Oh, that's a sign that my brain is making new connections. Oh, that's a sign of, yeah. And I just experienced oceans of love and joy and delight and gratitude for us. The divine felt that for us. And that was really just kind of mind blowing. And I heard we are the vanguard of new healing that spreads worldwide gathering momentum just because we were willing to hold this space. And I also heard, I choose divine healing. And I saw totally perplexed doctors, Melly. Absolutely. They had no clue what was going on. They didn't know how this could work. And I was reminded that I recently read a book. I don't remember the title of it, but it's written by a physicist. And this guy, I mean, it's a pretty darn chewy book. He goes through all the physics and the science and the proof. And it's honest to goodness, a, a scientific proof that the universe is sentient. It really truly is. The universe is conscious. Mm -hmm. The universe is mm -hmm. truly an ally for us. And the last message I got is we don't have to understand. We have to love ourselves to welcome healing. Mm -hmm. And when we are focused mm -hmm. on the pain and owning the pain and owning that, oh no, I'm a person who has this illness, then we get to keep the illness. And instead, mm -hmm. when we welcome love, welcome that divine love and mm -hmm. just decide that everything is healed. And that was the really clear message. Everything is healed. I choose divine healing. Everything is healed. Mm -hmm. And I was just like goosebumps. <laughs> it was really intense. I was really cool. Yay. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. It's a Thank nice you. birthday gift. Oh, uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Angela. Thank happy you. Birthday. And I have sad news oh. that my cousin passed away yesterday. So oh, oh yeah, I'm but I see him. I see him happy. I'm just sad for his his mom, yeah. his parents. Well, okay. thank you all for being see you here guys. tonight. I'll see you again next week. Thank, thank you, thank you guys. Thanks everybody. I will be 